Hello my Tauruses, welcome back to my channel. Thank you guys for your support. This is gonna be a Taurus reading for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Cross Watchers. For Cross Watchers, this could either be your energy or the Taurus you're dealing with. All right, so let's get into it. I'm gonna start off with one card for your overall energy, Taurus. <laughs> kind of getting a Four of Pentacles energy, like you guys are holding on tight. Someone's being stubborn. That's very Taurus energy, but I don't always pick that up. It's just what's coming to me. Something with pentacles, but just let that go here. Ooh, okay. Well, some of you guys could be dealing with a quite controlling masculine energy. This could be an Aries. This person is almost like irrational, I'm hearing. Like, they're tyrannical. It, they don't have to be like a horrible person, but I feel like they're not in their right energy. This could be your divine masculine, but this person is off kilter in some way. Aries energy, but doesn't have to be. Okay, this is a masculine gone awry. This could even be you not owning any of your own mask. You guys, I literally told you four of pentacles. This has been happening lately, so I'd like to kind of call the cards before they come out. Yeah, so... um. There is a, but you know what I feel actually this four of pentacles energy is a little good, is actually good because I feel you're holding your ground. You're not letting this person, like they, you're not, you're not going to let them come at you with that energy. You're like, I'm staying calm. I'm staying in my little Zen center. If you want to have your little temper tantrums, that's fine, but you're not going to come into my circle unless you bring like a positive light filled energy like this temperance. You're really working on staying balanced, watching out for your mental health, protecting yourself. In this regard, I actually think this four of pentacles is good. Okay. You could be dealing with a Sagittarius here. You are looking for something more balanced, more healing here, more life-giving, okay? See, she's she or he, they're doing yoga. You've got temperance energy is very positive healing, light energy. So uh, this person's just out of alignment, and you could just really be triggered by them. So this is also saying to bring your energy back, have that energetic boundary with them and let them do their own little temper tantrum like i'm saying and then you just got the sun you're in a beautiful energy and i feel like part of why this person is drawn to you is because you're raising your vibration you're finding happiness i even see you guys could be traveling or doing things you really love being outside exploring nature just getting very i hate the word zen i think it's so like basic but like just getting very like, um, I shouldn't say hate because I don't like that word either, but I just don't really care for it. You guys are just raising your vibration and you're like, you see the sun is here, but this is reversed. You guys are truly in the light. This is also a message I'm hearing. Like if you're dealing with some sort of narcissistic energy, trust that you're actually the one that's illuminated and that's working on yourself versus this person has a false this is even could be like a spiritual narcissist that you're dealing with where they act like they're so much more evolved they're on this moral high ground here um this person is denying their issues so they they try to like skate around it i'm getting really specific messages for you taurus i hope this resonates but you could be dealing with a pisces this person has like maybe a shady past but i feel like they don't want to like navigate it they just want to kind of keep it in the dark although these things are going to come to light we do have the sun and the moon which i find interesting polar opposites polarities here this person's triggering a lot in you though and it's a lot of it's their own issues so i feel a very heavy feeling from this person but you just keep staying in the light okay if you've been going back and forth on this i feel like you're finally going to make a decision and you're going to possibly release this person at least for now because they're giving you a headache like seriously and they're making you doubt your intuition you could be dealing with a virgo here um they're making you also feel bad about going your own way. Um, I don't think you have to live with this guarded, defensive energy. I think, if anything, you just trust yourself and kind of release them. Taurus, you guys are coming through heavy today for me. And we have the magician. This person could also be, I don't believe in black magic, but they're kind of manipulative. They kind of make you doubt yourself. And that, I don't like that. So Tauruses, if you came to my channel today and you've been going through this kind of dynamic where you've been, you're being gaslit, you're being 
made to question your reality. I'm here to tell you because you're seeing this, it's a sign. Trust yourself and do things that are healthy for you. Chase the light. You don't have to like swim in the shadows, okay? You might feel like, but I'm doing the shadow work. I shouldn't avoid it. I feel you've already been doing that, so don't put that pressure or judgment on yourself, okay? I want to bring some light into this, so I'm pulling from the Oracle of Fairies because this is a beautiful deck. I'm actually going to pull one from here, one from the Enchanted Map Oracle, and then one from the Sacred Journey. I definitely feel you guys are on this, like, awakening path, like in the thick of it right now so you're being challenged a lot i don't know i haven't gotten that kind of energy from a reading in a while here so i want to kind of pull these all together and i think i said virgo maybe multiple times because i had just done a virgo reading but the hermit reverse yes is a virgo i also feel you were depressed for a really long time and you're finally coming out of it or if you're not out of it i do feel like taurus is you will be and then i'm going to pull one last card from this messages of love from all things intuitive i don't even think you want to hear from this person like um you're just kind of like they're in I just heard infesting your energy because usually I do messages, cards from of love from them, but I just don't even feel like you want to hear from them. They're making you quite uncomfortable. Acceptance. Everything happens for a reason. So part of why this is happening is for you to be able to let go. That four of pentacles could be like you almost feel like you still owe this person or there's something you still need to figure out. There's something like there's a stone unturned. It's funny because I was like staring at these stones like you feel like maybe I need to just, you know what? Sometimes it's better to let sleeping dogs rest, okay? Divination, I love this. Embrace your powers of divination, which are especially strong right now. You have the ability to see your current situation with crystal clear clarity. That's what I was just saying. Balancing act. I just got this for Virgo. Um, that's also the temperance energy. You're really balancing your energy. I feel like you're restoring and renewing yourself after this period, okay? And then answering the call. I literally said you don't want to hear from them. The time is now. I think this is about answering the call. Like this is something, a, maybe a possible repetitive pattern in your life where you don't allow yourself to set boundaries with people that you know you should. And this is finally your time to step out onto your own perhaps you're breaking bonds of codependency you're learning how to really look out for yourself and make healthy decisions i feel like you're being called to do something that you've never done before here virgo see i keep saying virgo taurus sorry i literally just did a virgo reading all right so um let's get a couple more messages tauruses about your love dynamic right now getting to know each other there could be someone new coming in as well um as you reveal your innermost selves to each other your bond deepens you also know that if this person isn't going to come clean it's like you're just not going to be able to have anything with them because you need to be able to bear your soul you're looking for that really intimate partnership and um i hate to use the word narcissist because i feel it's over it's overused and stuff but i'm just getting the energy that you have had that repeated pattern in your life due to codependent patterns and you're really looking for someone that's going to be honest and transparent and bring that to the table religious factors your love life is influenced by your religious and um, upbringing and spiritual path now this may not resonate with everyone but you do have div divination so there's something about belief systems and perhaps also breaking free from that um if you were raised in a religion that wasn't right for you you could even that whole energy could even be just almost being gaslit by your religious um background but i feel you guys are just finally answering the call of your soul and you're not letting influences dictate anymore um you know what's good for you okay i will use um, I will get some messages from your person. Now, if this person I've been talking about is not even who you want to talk to or hear from, take this from whoever it resonates from. Maybe perhaps there's someone else that you miss that you want to hear from. This is from Twin Flame, the Soul Reflections, Messenger Oracle 2. So what is a message that someone wants to communicate to you? This just fell on the floor. I'm going to take 
daydreaming of the day I hold you, feeling you by my side, everything melts away, know we are in this together. Past life, the past returns to heal, heal wounds and trauma to move forward. I almost feel like someone that's crossed over is communicating with you. I don't know why, but know that you're being supported by the divine and everything you're going through and that you're just clearing past life karma. There is a divine soulmate for you. And I also feel like whoever has passed over is trying to communicate to you that they're with you through this all. You're safe, you're loved, you're supported, and everything is unfolding the exact way it's supposed to. All right, Taurus, I hope this reading resonates with you guys. I love you guys. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe and comment. Uh, that would mean a lot to me. If you're returning, thank you, my Tauruses. Thank you for being here, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.